What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L. I'm back with another reaction video, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Today we got who we got? I don't know who we got. Y'all know who we got. You seen the title? Disturbed, man. Heavy metal band Disturbed. We're gonna be checking them out today, man. Uh, we got Inside the Fire, and the other joint we got is A Reason to Fight. Now, disregard the sound in the background. If you hear some sound, man, that's me trying to stay warm. You know what I mean? And be considerate of my family at the same time. Get a little cold down here in this basement. So, but if I turn the heat on in here, what's the heat gonna do? Rise, and it's gonna burn them alive up there. So I'm trying to be considerate, man. So if you hear a little sound in the background, it's the heat, bro. It's chill, all right? So we're gonna be checking these two joints out today per you guys' request. See, I was feeling for a little heavy metal, huh? Huh? I oblige. I oblige. Let's get to it. My name is David Draymond. I sing for the band Disturbed. The video you are about to see contains a very sensitive subject, suicide. It is unfortunately a subject that is close to me, having dealt with an actual occurrence of it many years ago. Wow. If you or someone you know is in crisis or are having thoughts of suicide... If I would have to guess... If I was being what they call those people like profilers right now, if I was being a profiler right now and I had to guess, the way he's talking and seems kind of like he's choked up a bit right now, this seems like it has happened recent, recently to him. You know what I'm saying? Like the wound is still open, it's still fresh. So just based upon that, and you could tell it's very near and dear to his heart. So I think we're about to get a real, real deep video, bro. A real, real deep song. If you or someone you know is in crisis or are having thoughts of suicide, please call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline yes. at 1-800-273-8255. I'm going to let that, that number sit there, or y'all can pause it, whichever one. Some people may not be close enough. They may be watching this on their TV, so I'm going to let it rock for a second. You know what I'm saying, man? Don't hesitate to call. You know, all jokes aside, we joke a lot on this channel and have fun, but this is a serious subject matter. So I want to be honest and be serious. Now, I want to be serious about this and uh, allow you guys time to get that number down and don't hesitate to call, man. Seriously. way to start the video off. No! That's tough, bro. Tough. I don't know if he's reenacting his real situation, his real life incident that happened to him. That's tough, bro. You will forever have that moment, that scene, that initial sight ingrained in your mind forever. Ever. You know what I mean? Ever. You definitely, I, I don't even know. Me personally, if I can remain living in that place, I would have to move, you know? Because every time you walked in there, every time you stopped, every time you gazed off in the distance, every time... You just, you know, you would think about that incident replaying your mind. That would be tough for me.
did not do this. Fam, TMG fam, look, I could not do this, bro. I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't care how much time has passed by. I tip my hat to him. It's a strong, strong, strong dude. I don't know if that's supposed to be his girlfriend or his daughter or what that's in that chair. But it would be hard. Uh, even, even for, like, shooting a music video. That would be hard to do, bro, and to pull that off. I'd just rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather make a different song. And he made a great song. So far, so good. Two minutes and 36 seconds into the song. It's, it's that, whew. This is deep, bro. <laughs> feel bad for enjoying that guitar solo right then bro and i get it this is probably therapeutic for him rage you know all of the 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 feelings that he's displaying in the song is probably therapeutic for him but i still would be lying to you if i feel bad for sitting here and and really vibing and jamming out to this it's tough <laughs> Believe it or not, I guarantee you that that's probably one of the number one reactions to finding someone suicide or, or to someone close to you committing suicide. That's probably top, easily top five, I know top 10 reactions of people wanting to join them, take their own life so they can join them. You know what I mean? And that's real, that's, that's tough, tough, bro. I know that's gotta be a feeling. You know what I mean? Say you lose a, a a long, either what it could be a wife or it could be, you know what I mean? A significant, some type of significant other. It could be a daughter or a son or something like that. And you just want to take your life so you could be with them. It hurts that much. The 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 pain of losing them hurts that much that you are willing to take your. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Remember that number at the beginning. Talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. And I know we make it sound like that's easy to do, and it's not always easy to get up and share your feelings with somebody else or explain what you're going through to somebody else that you don't know. But please try it. Please try it. I had a feeling that was going to be a tough video. I had that feeling the way he came on there. 
That was going to be tough, and it was. Woo! Maybe this one is a pick-me-up. This one is a reason to fight. Disturb. Make you think of like people struggling with addiction, basically, and this sound like what he was talking about in that in that first one, you know? The demons within struggling to fight, finding a reason to fight, you know? Don't give in. Not letting it get to you, not letting it get take over you, fighting it. It's tough. Tough. Man, we went from suicide to addiction. I apologize. I didn't know. I didn't know. But we're here, so we're going to talk about it. We ain't going to run from it. You know what I'm saying? And and addiction is always one of those things, man, because if you're addicted to something, it to me, it, it almost never goes away. Your addiction almost never goes away. You just work every day to keep it suppressed is how I look at it. You know what I mean? An alcoholic who's an alcoholic doesn't just... You know what I'm saying? In six months after com completing a program, he never has the urge to drink again. No, the urge is still there. The addiction is still there. You work every day to suppress and, and not give in to those urges. That's why it's always called like the programs are called one day, one day at a time, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's the reason why they're called that is because that stuff never goes away. It can be 10 years down the line and something can trigger you. Something you can do or happen to you and trigger you. And the first thing your mind thinks of is to your addiction. Because that's what you told yourself is, is to wait for you to, to get through something or, or to deal with something or to cope with something. It's through your addiction. So, yeah, man. Whew, tough. Lost in your world of lies, I find it so hard to believe in you. Can it be real this time, or just a part of this game that we're playing through? I won't give up. It's important to have people in your corner who support you and push you and continue to, you know what I mean, remind you of what you're fighting for, not to give up and not to give in and to to know that it's going to get better, to keep positive thoughts in you. Those are the type of people you need in your life, and they're just as important, too. When the demon that's inside you is ready to begin, and it feels like it's a
This is a battle that we are gonna win. Are you ready to begin? This is a battle. This, like those words right there were so powerful. Are you ready to begin? Are you ready to begin this fight against your addiction? This is a battle that we are gonna win. It's a battle that we're gonna win. Meaning I'm in this with you, man. Not gonna leave your side. Be with you through all the bad, through all the good, ups, downs, you know, relapses, whatever. I'm right here with you. You know, people need that. When you're raking for the fire and I'm begging for your sin When there's nothing left inside There's still a reason When the demon that's inside you is ready to begin And it feels like it's a Those, there's the numbers. Prevention, suicide, drug help, addiction. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, all these these numbers, man. Take them down. And you notice at the end he said, give them a reason to fight. So I'm not just talking about the people that struggle with addiction right now. I'm talking about the people who know people who struggle with addiction. Um, give them a reason to fight. Remind them that you still love them and there's people out there that do love them. So, you know what I'm saying? They're not only hurting themselves, they're hurting you too. You want to see them prevail. You want to see them kick this heavy. You want to see them on the other side of this, healthy. You know, give them a reason to fight. Let them know you love them and there's people out there that love them. You know? Give them a reason to fight, man. That's all I'm going to say about it. Numbers is on the screen. Take them down, man. Help someone out. It's your boy L. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you head over to Patreon and keep it with me and Queen. And uh, stick around and stay tuned, man, to the next reaction video, man. I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.